this video is going to just describe for how OneDrive assignments work behind the scenes. So I recently created this OneDrive sample assignment and in Schoology it connected my OneDrive document so that way like if I go in here um, students can actually just click like on their document and then it opens up in another window where they can be able to um, edit like uh, their own copy of the document all within Schoology. But I just want to describe what's actually going on behind the scenes because I think it's helpful, um, especially if there are any sort of troubleshooting or if you want to refer back to any of the documents. So if I go into Office 365, I'm just going to open up another tab to show what I have here. Um, before I go, I just want to keep in mind that I want to call, I want to show that I have this as the OneDrive a sample assignment and I have it in my Cleverdesk Fall 2020 um, semester course. Um, so in Office 365, I'm going to go into OneDrive. This is where all of our documents are stored. And then what you're going to notice if you scroll down, so I'm going to, I have a bunch of different random files here. Um, but I'm going to notice that I have, um, let me see if I can find it. All right, so we have Schoology Microsoft OneDrive Assignments. So I have a folder named Schoology Microsoft OneDrive Assignments. So this folder gets created the first time you ever use um, Microsoft OneDrive assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it to go and see what's inside. You'll notice that you have like a running list. So I use this for other courses as well. So you'll have a running list of courses that um, you've ever used this with. So like what you could do, um, if you find that this list is too long, like there's too many, like if you teach a bunch of different um, sections like if you're a specials teacher and you teach like five of the same thing um, every year you might have like tons of folders um, you could go through and find the old ones and then you would actually this is your OneDrive you could just delete them out so um, like if I know I want to get rid of these folders I just go ahead um, highlight these and then click delete and I'm totally free to do that so these are these are all old ones I'll just get rid of them for right now all right so the one that we're focused on right now so um, I can see that I just have a recent um, assignment that I created and like this course is new because it has that little icon here. This is uh, Microsoft's way of showing that something's new. So I can go click on that. And then um, the only assignment that I have in here for OneDrive assignments is just this OneDrive sample assignment. So this is the thing that I just created. Um, I can see like the last time that um, I edited something in it. And the folder itself is just is my private folder like only I as the teacher really have access to go into it um, you could if you co-teach with someone um, you could at this point go in and share and so instead of it saying private um, we could click where it says private um, we could create a link where we share it um, we can share it with like a specific co-teacher or something um, but I'm going to go in just one step further and just show what this does so if I go in here essentially what it does is it's going to list all of your students who have already um, who are already in your course. So in this case, I only have one student in there. Um, I can see that this student made the change to his document 10 minutes ago. Um, and then by it saying private, it's still like only that student and me have access to it. Um, if I wanted to share this specific document with anybody else, I could um, share it as well. Um, one thing we learned just as another way of troubleshooting if you find that there is like a random student in your course that they still cannot access their document, um, if we found that if we go in um, to this area um, and just go where it says private, um, if that student cannot get to that document, what we can do is we would actually just give direct access to the student. So I could say, all right, you know what? I'm gonna just say, I want this student to be able to edit it. I'm gonna just type that student's name in. So I'll just type, type myself in here again um, I can say that this student has access to edit it and then if I want to notify them it'll send them an email and it'll grant access um, when you do that they that should fix any other problems if the students do um, have any problem or they can't um, actually go through and open that um, that OneDrive assignment document um, but just in general, um, it's just nice to know like when it's creating it, it, it actually is really connected to your OneDrive. It's automatically putting it into a file folder spot. Um, and just keep in mind, like I said, you can delete old versions of things. Um, you don't have to keep submissions from everybody from years and years ago. Um, 
But uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to contact tech support and we will help you figure out any um, Schoology or OneDrive issue that you have.